Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about the 2023 Porsche 911 GT3. This car is definitely one of the most talked about Porsches in a very long time. It has a lot to do with the extreme changes from one year to the other. I would say instead of the traditional evolutionary changes throughout the years for a specific product line being this Porsche, this is more revolutionary. With its multi-plane hood, drag reduction system, wing, and wide turbo body air panels, this very expensive toy makes it a fantasy car for most who would want the real thing, but very attainable in model form. This brings us to Mini Champs. Mini Champs, a German company, has been around for a very long time, and I would say at one point they rivaled AutoArt when it came to details, especially when it came to motorsport. Some of their previous works include cars from the various DTM, sports cars, and most importantly, Formula One. I say they rival auto art in the past as their models were filled with nice details and were fully open die cast. Their Formula One cars, especially ones from the 80s, 90s, early 2000s have been some of the best out there. Their recent line of models have been mostly a mix of fully opening die cast and sealed models. What has been a disappointment for many collectors is the fact that the last few years, all of their motorsports cars have been primarily sealed, and the level of overall detail has declined significantly, especially with their Porsche models with just about every new release featuring solid molded front and rear mesh grills. Even more of a slap in the face for those who only want metal die cast opening models, they have been recently producing resin sealed models. The resin sealed models have been some of their Porsche 911s and a mix of Formula 1 cars. Now on the surface, this may seem like a bad thing, and depending on your preference, that might be true. But it was until recently when they announced the 2023 911 GT3 that I was pleasantly surprised. Guys, I want you to take a look at this and you'll see exactly what I mean. That is their 911 GT3 test car. In this other video, you see a little bit more of what I'm referring to. Sitz alles, jeder Aufkleber am richtigen Fleck, sogar der Maverick ist drauf. Guck mal hier. Passt alles 100%. Und sogar das Aerobienchen ist auch drauf. Ja, <lacht> auf dem Diffusor ist das cool. Und E-Pool, guck mal, der E-Pool auf, der E-Pool, also das E-Pool Abzeichen ist hier drauf. Das Richtige. Die Details. Das ist ja unfassbar. Krass. Unfassbar. Und vielleicht tut das Spiel hier am liebsten mit. Das ist, das ist klar. Ja, guck dir das an. Der S funktioniert. Und auch in Carbon. So wie es klappt. Wow. Carbon, ein super schönes. Now, these are two test cars. One was named Maverick, the other one's named Iceman. That is based off of the characters in the Top Gun movies. So Maverick, I believe, was Tom Cruise, and Iceman, I think, was Val Kilmer. That would be the original um, Top Gun movie. One of the gentlemen there, if you didn't notice, is Jörg Berkmeister. He was a famous um, IMSA uh, Porsche driver, as well as a famous driver in Europe. So, yeah. Mini Champs has these two models, and I can tell you guys just from the videos and what you can see there, those cars look fantastic. They are definitely a departure from what I've been seeing lately for Mini Champs. So they, you know, got the license to make these, and it looks like they put all their full efforts. That includes that DRS wing. You noticed it? It's functional. The other thing that you may have seen through that video was that they were mesh grills. They were not solid grills. So these are limited editions. One of them, I believe, comes in 666 units and the other is 333. And yes, they will sell out quickly. Now, obviously, there are other companies that are making these cars as well. The other company would be Norev. So Norev is a French company and they are producing and actually they are available so far. I've seen them in China. They have a full line of different colors of the 911s, and those look fantastic. And I like the fact that you have so many color choices. 
Now, the shape of the car looks really good. The rims are spectacular, but the grills on this particular model are solid. I can't speak for the one that's under the bonnet in the front, but definitely the front one is definitely a solid grill. So you get what you pay for. Norev is more of a budget friendly model and so of course it wouldn't have all the same details. But the fact that it's out there says a lot. It says a lot because again, this is a very sought after car in real reality as well as in model form. Now the question is, should I go ahead and get that Mini Champ seeing that they're limited edition and they're probably gonna rise in value and they look beautiful? Well, maybe. And I say that because Mini Champs is not only going to do these two, they're also going to have a full line of different colors. They're not going to be in a special packaging or anything like that. But again, you'll have a beautiful, fully die-cast, opened model that looks good. And that is a good thing. The other thing you have to be aware of, and I'm pretty sure if you haven't thought about it yet, you will, you do realize AutoArt is going to make these cars. There is no doubt about it. And when they do, especially using that composite material, those cars are going to look fantastic. If they follow what they did with their previous Porsche effort, I did the blue Y-Sets package a few months ago, it was the GT2, I believe. That car was beautiful. You can only imagine what this new 911 GT3 is going to look at. So you may want to hold out on that. And the pricing would probably be, you know, typical auto art. So you're looking at about $230 US probably for that YSS package. And I'm very sure because many champs did it, they're going to have that functional DRS wing as well. So, you know, the future is really bright if you're into Porsches because now you have choices. You have choices of many colors and different models and you can find what fits in your price range. And depending on your price range, you should be satisfied with whatever model you get. Now you're moving on to the hot list. The hot list are models that are soon to be released or have recently been released and they're going to sell out quickly. Starting with BBR, have you ever pawned for a fully opening F40 diecast from Kyosho? Well, this collaboration with BBR and Kyosho, not only can you get this reissue from the Big K, but this version is improved to meet BBR standards. This model is complete with a leatherette base and a protective display cover. Both the green and red versions are limited editions and will sell out. The green version, by the way, is not a fantasy color. Also, if you want to save a few dollars, the red version is available and sold under the Kyosho brand without the base and cover. Exciting stuff from AutoR as photos of the second color of their retooled Nissan Nismo Z-Tune in silver is out. There will be additional colors including Stealth Gray, Meteor Black, and Bayside Blue. All these are slated to come out first quarter of 2024. Hmm, I wonder if they're going to be better than the Motor Helix versions. Looksmart is back with their versions of the 296 GT3 and the 499P presentation cars. As tempting as it may be, you may want to hold off until the Le Mans winning number 51 is available. Just saying. And that concludes this week's hot list. I appreciate your time watching. There will be another episode sooner than last time. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.